Welcome to this NSI screencast on our updated version of the NSI AutoStore front panel simulator. In today's screencast, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the new capabilities and how they can help you build up your best demos. After downloading the new version, the first step to accessing all of the new features is to register. Once registered, you'll gain access to the What You See is What You Get style editor to quickly and easily configure demos and the virtual business card where you can insert your personal contact information at the end of each demo. Plus, you'll be able to save and export custom demos for sharing with a prospect. My demo app is already registered, so I'm just going to click the open menu in the upper right hand corner. This gives me access to the playlist screen where I can save, edit, rename, and export the demos I create. So the first thing I'd like to do is create a new demo. Let's say we'd like to configure this demo specifically for a prospect we'll be speaking to at Acme. We could name it something like Acme Company Demo. If we mouse over the demo that we just created, we can see a set of function buttons to the right with tooltips that tell you what each one does. So let's configure this for Acme. What we see now is that the standard demo is loaded in editing mode. Any of these yellow fields can be edited with text and imagery, either from the preloaded asset library or with our own custom imagery. These fields are available to edit throughout the entire simulator, which we can navigate using the screens list here on the left. But let's keep it simple for now and just customize the welcome screen with the customer's logo and personal welcome text. To edit a field, simply click inside a yellow box. When we click on an image, like the logo, the asset library automatically appears. We can choose from the artwork that's preloaded or upload our own images by clicking Add New Images. Now the Acme logo is loaded to our asset library and we can select it and place it in the simulator. We'll edit the text in a similar way by clicking in a yellow box and typing whatever we want. So now we have a nice custom demo to share with our prospect at Acme. Before we exit, let's also add some contact information with a virtual business card that will be displayed at the end of the demo. So all we need to do is select Show Virtual Business Card and edit the business card using the Virtual Business Card screen. Now we can save and exit the editor. Because we've built this configuration for Acme, we'll still need to find a way to show it to them. The easiest way to do this is to export the configured demo. When we do that, a separate simulator is created that can be zipped, emailed, and shared. To export, we click the Open option in the upper right hand corner for the playlist. Mouse over the demo we just created and choose Export out of the function buttons. Select where we want it to go. And now we see that an NSI simulator folder has been created with the playable version of the demo that we just configured. This folder can be zipped and emailed or loaded onto a USB for sharing. The demo cannot be configured in this format. If we wanted to make any changes to this demo, we would have to go back into the simulator app configure the demo, and then export it again. As we come to the end of the demo, we will see that our virtual business card will appear. The prospect can now give us a call and tell us how amazing our demonstration was. This concludes our screencast on the NSI AutoStore front panel simulator for Rico MFPs.